here's the Earth. I will explain. Do you really not believe in gravity? Explain to me why. Uh, Gra so gravity is the force. All right, all right, I'll okay, explain it. I'll okay. explain it. Gra gravity is the force. There's a force. Can't see it, can't measure it, but it's a force that holds buildings down to the planet, right? It holds the ocean so because the planet is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. So why is it like when you see a tennis ball, that's science. When you see a, a tennis ball spinning, that's science. You see the water flying out. Why isn't the water flying out? Because gravity is holding the oceans together, right? Yes. Gravity is a force so strong that it will hold the Pacific Ocean together. So as the Earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour, the water doesn't fly off because gravity is holding it together? Is gravity holding it together? So What's you, holding it together? It, it's the, what is it? Okay, the okay. Mass. Is it gravity? I would say it's the mass. It's, it's, gravity. It's, the force, it's the force of the rotation that holds it together. Just like if you have a bucket and you spin it around, the water doesn't no, fall No, 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 no. The, the Earth is a ball, like yeah, a tennis ball. Yeah, We're talking about science. We were talking about That's experiments. Show me a ball that where you spin <laughs> and water doesn't fly off. We're talking about science. Okay, there's a ball. All of a sudden, when it gets into the, a ball, doesn't hold an atmosphere. So that's a, that's kind of a different argument. No, no, it's a ball. At one point, does it not become science? How far? Like 50,000 feet in the air, at twenty miles. At what point does it not become science? So you don't. Because science okay, is okay. inertia of science, right? So you don't. So let me explain. Let me explain to you. So that, so so there's a force that's holding the build the, the water sticking to the planet. It holds buildings and cars, but it, it, it doesn't have any effect on a butterfly. How come a butterfly isn't stuck? A butterfly should be the easiest thing for a force to hold. Think about it like this. Let's say you have a let's say you have a little speck of dust on a tennis ball, okay? And the tennis ball is spinning really fast. That speck of dust probably isn't going to believe it. It's going to stick right will. there. Water will. I'm talking about science. Water. Okay, okay but water. what holds the water is the atmosphere. There's different how, how forms of water. It? There's gas. There's liquid. There's ice. So there's all types of different so forms of water. You're talking about stuff that you cannot replicate in a goddamn... You're talking about... All of a sudden, at so, some I point... You all of a sudden, it. you can't. You can't say how, so it's a theory. Ball. So it's a theory. Flatter. It's a theory. It's not science. You can't say, "Oh, but a tennis ball spinning is a, is an analogy because to the Earth." A, a tennis ball doesn't have an atmosphere. Because there's some magic shit that you can't replicate in a, in a science in a science lab. Okay, You're so talking about how shit. Is it then, all right, so I guess then you probably can't theorize how. The so there's no, 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 no. So, so, so people that people that <laughs> don't believe in the theory of gravity say things fall because of density and buoyancy. If something is lighter, if something is heavier than the air, it falls. If it's lighter than the air, like helium, like a helium balloon, how come gravity has no effect on a helium balloon, just flies up? It, but it's holding buildings down? There's a force that's holding a building down, but it has no effect on a fucking butterfly or helium. Helium is lighter than the air. That's why it rises. So that, that does bring credence to the density, buoyancy thing. How can you take a, a balloon? There's this force that's holding up uh, the Pacific Ocean together. But if you put a ball with filled with air in the in the water and it flies up to the surface. Where's the gravity? Where's this magical force? There's no. It, it's not science. It's gra the, the theory of gravity is not science. It's magic. It's magic. Because you can't. Re science is about experiments, repeatable resper experiments where you get the same result. That's what science is. Anything other than that is a theory. It's magic. So We're talking what, about science. All right. So what is your theory there on you. sunset? Well, if you look at, if you look, okay. This is this, this is my this is this is my story. This is my story. About a year ago, uh, I'm on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he says he brings up something. He's making a point about something, and he goes, "Dude." People are so dumb. There's people out there that fucking believe the world is flat and the earth and the and the sun is three thousand miles away. I'm like, oh my god, what are they fucking like? This is a year ago, a year and a half ago. <laughs> fucking like, uh, I'm balls deep in 9/11. A year and a half ago, I'm 45 years old, grown ass man, and he says that, and I go, what are these fucking religious, fucking idiots? Who's it? And then we just we went on by the conversation, and then um. Maybe a couple months later, three months later, I'm on his podcast again, and uh, flat Earth gets brought up. He goes, "Dude, there's people that believe I go flat Earth." I go, "Oh my God, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a CIA psyop, like Scientology. It's gotta be like Scientology, just to distract people from the real shit that's going on. 9/11, Obama, CIA. That's and I'm on the podcast, grown ass men, a year ago, saying." It's gotta be some, it's gotta be CIA Scion. 
And then I'm in my class, I'm teaching the class, and some guy comes up, and we're going back and forth on it's conspiracy theories. And he's one of those guys that, you know, if you could come up with a, 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 a money scam to go along with the conspiracy theory, he's one of those guys that's so awake, he's like, oh yeah, I don't even need to do the, the research, you're probably right, I believe you. If there, you see the money scam, it's all, everything is a tax money scam. So if you could, you could see how, go, oh, that's how they do it? If they haven't thought of it, what are the odds they haven't thought of it, you just thought of it right now? It's, it's all already been thought of, how they're gonna steal your tax money. So he, then he goes, you ever look into flat earth? I go, dude, this was less than a year ago. I go, dude, please shut the fuck up about that. Like anybody, anytime you bring a flat earth, you say, shut the fuck up. That's distracting from the real shit. We got some real fucking problems here. We got real problems going on. Kids are dying in fucking the Middle East. They're bombing kids, dude. They're fucking kids. They're fucking kidnapping and fucking and drinking their blood. And you're talking about fucking flat earth motherfucking dumb motherfucker you know and then a couple months later and we're talking and so, some guy goes hey you ever look into flat earth i go i'm gonna fucking choke you the <laughs> fuck out of you because he goes listen listen i know your reaction everyone gets that same reaction at first he goes but i got a degree i got a master's degree i know he goes i got a, a master's degree on engineering look into that shit you want to look into science do science and I'm like you dumb motherfucker so we started texting like, dude please stop with that stick with the shit that fucking matters so then I became the skeptic I'm, I'm gonna debunk this motherfucker I go and we're back we're back and forth and you know you're battling you're arguing on text and I go to my computer this was like four or five months ago or maybe more maybe six months ago or something like that and I'm like I'm just gonna it's really really simple there's no need for math there's no need for engineering I'm gonna prove that the world is round in one second. Picture from fucking Earth from space. I had it on my goddamn iPhone for God, for like two years on the iPhone 4. Every time I turn it on, there's a the picture of the Earth. Apple. I've yeah. seen that shit a million times, okay? So let me get And then, uh, but I, I didn't have it. Now I have my son. I have my son. It's not the Earth anymore, not the default setting. So then I go, okay, I get on and uh, Earth, pictures of Earth from space. And, and, do you believe we went to the moon? You believe we went to the moon? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So then, you, you may not like any of this. No, I like it all. I'm not. I don't know because there's no way we went to. The moon. If you actually look into it, it was a tax scam. Nobody went to the moon. Japanese didn't go to the moon. Chinese didn't go to the moon. Russians didn't go to the moon. In 1969, nobody went to the moon. Trust me. They, they, you can't. All, all the, all the film. Trying to break the All the film. All the audio. All the telemetry data. The rockets, every part of the but technology you my is question. gone. How do you explain a sunrise and sunset? Okay, no, 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 I got it. I got it. You know, the backstory. You got Let me the backstory. give me the backstory. So now, anyway, you setup. You if, you, setup. if you believe that we went to the moon, this is going to be a hard sell. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's going to be a hard sell. But, anyways, yeah. to me, I've always known in my head that NASA is just a complete fucking joke. It's propaganda, it's all bullshit. You fake going the fuck. Alex Jones believe we fake when we went to the moon. That's your boy. Alex Jones will tell you we didn't yeah, go to the moon. He says we went but there, but no, no. He he says there was a secret space mission with huh. no proof. So he's saying the shit we saw was fake. So he's saying it's fake. But now there's a secret mission. Come on. If the shit they showed us was fake, you can't believe anything they said. Oh yeah, yeah. We lied about this, but we secretly did it. We didn't lie. We secretly didn't lie. Who you you're gonna believe a criminal? We gotta remember, we're talking. We're dealing with criminals. We're dealing with criminals. So the the defendant is the government and all their agencies. That's the defendant. So are you gonna ask questions, or are you gonna say things like the defense attorney would say the shit he would say, or are you gonna say shit that the detectives and the prosecutor would say? You know what what's coming out of your mouth? Like you know. So listen to what you're saying. Not you, but just anybody. Are you saying shit to defend criminals? Or, like, prove it, prove it, prove it. Or are you saying, what, like a detective would say, hey, wait a minute, you guys lied about the fucking moon landing six, seven times? Prosecutor, detective would, they'd be in the, in the interrogation, we have the government sitting there. They'd be like through that, that, that two-way mirror going, we got this motherfucker, we just need some hard shit. They would know, they'd go, we got this motherfucker, we just need some hard shit to prosecute. The defense a attorney would say, we'll prove it, we'll prove it, we'll prove it. Prove it, there's no evidence, where's the evidence? Prove it. And so anyways, so anyways, so I go home, I can't find the fucking real picture of Earth from space. You would think there would be tens of thousands of them. 
I was going through totally everything. And then all of a sudden I thought, wait a minute, all these fake CGI pictures of Earth from space are from the NASA webs, NASA light about. And then all of a sudden I connected, wait a minute, all our space information is coming from NASA? And all of a sudden I thought, I was that dude who, I have stacks and stacks of space documentaries. I would just watch space after space after space documentary, over and over, BBC, space, the universe, Morgan Friedman, the universe, space, space. I DDR'd all that shit, I have all the DVDs, I would watch them over and over, just anything that would say, this neutron star is 250,000 light years away from this. I'm like, okay, I gotta remember that 250,000 light years. I was, I'm like, I wanted to be the smart guy about space. And then every now and then when I'm watching these documentaries with Joe Rogan, every now and then I would think, it is kind of weird that all this is CGI and none of this is actually real. Oh, but, but they know what they're talking about. We're taking our word, for, well, I'm gonna take their word for it. I'm gonna take the unknown scientist word for it about some unknown experiments that I know nothing about, how they figured all this shit out. I'm taking all these people's word for it. And where is it coming from? It's coming from fucking NASA. So all of a sudden I'm sitting there, I can't. They got one picture, 1972 of Earth from space, and you look at that, that looks fake too. Everything else is fake. There should be tens of thousands of pictures from space. Then I started looking into it, and I thought, oh shit. We don't know what the fuck we're on. We have no idea. We have no idea what we're on. What In do you the think 50s, of the space station? The cameras on the space station? All 100% fake. Tax cam, tax cam, tax cam. Sunrises and sunsets. Okay, 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 okay. So this is, this is, this is the, this is the, the model, the, the flat earth model. Okay. Imagine that we're in a crater. Imagine, just imagine this. Imagine, let's say that it's not flat. Let's just say that the earth is round, all right? Let's say this, understand it like this. And we are floating in space, all right? But let's say that the, the, the flat earth model is exactly like the UN flag, the UN logo. It's the same fucking thing. Here is, the flat earth is like we're in a crater filled with water and there's continents popping out that make up our world and it's flat maybe it's an on a, on a big round gigantic planet let's just say that so if that's true hold how on can you circumnavigate the world hold on let me get to it i'm gonna get to it so so the flat earth model again it's the un flag same thing it's like there's like this crater filled with water that we're all in and the the the, the continents are popping out and all around it is an ice wall the middle is the North Pole, the, the South, the magnetic center. No, the, the North Star is always right there in the middle. Every night, North Star, everything's revolving around the North Star. It's right over the North Pole. North, the North Star. North doesn't exist, though. Huh? Well, how, but the North Star doesn't exist. It's a light. No, no, it's planet. there. Right, it's right, there. Right. No, 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 no. It's not a project. Who knows what everything is? There's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Nobody knows what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's flat. What do you think but it's this, is the, this, this is the flat model. This is the flat model. There's just a crater, and it's sur surrounded by ice. The middle is the North Pole. So e wherever you're at in the world, you go south, you hit the, the ice wall. You hit the South Pole, okay? Let me finish. The sun, this is the flat Earth model. This is not what I believe. This is the flat Earth model. The sun and the moon go around like, they go around like this. No, or this way, this way, clockwise. Like, like the sun's here and the moon's here, and they crisscross and have like, they go around and they're, the sun is like an elect uh, electromagnetic, it's not even a mass, it's just this be this ball of energy that's attracted. You know when you, when, you, when you take out your compass, it always points towards north? There's something, whatever compass you have, something, it's pointing towards north. And there's, it's not an electronic compass, it's not, there's not a battery in there. For some reason, there's a magnet that's... Point, it points to something. There's a force in the middle, and that middle is the North Pole. So no matter where you, when you circumnavigate, you're not going around a ball. You're just going this way and that way, and that way you think you're going in a ball because that's what you were taught to believe that you were on a ball. But if the sun and the if you don't steer your plane or your ship and you don't touch that wheel and you just keep going straight, you would eventually run into an ice wall. Or you fly into space, right? No, you fly you're straight. No, you fly straight. No one, no one, fly, no one's flying. You fly straight. Like, like here's the here, let's say here's okay, uh, here, here's Australia. Well, here's I'm Australia and here's like America. You would fly straight like that. You wouldn't go like this. Like a, you would just drive right to, but you'd fly right to it. When you fly on British Airways and you're saying in America going to Britain, they go up around the North Pole like that and they show a curved. You think they're just lying to it? 
I'm just telling you, there's no proof, there's no, there's no pictures from space of what we're on, is what I'm telling you. They're lying, there's some shit going on. There's no pictures of, there's no pictures, you got all these Hubble telescopes, and there's no so pictures, the rockets it's, go? it's all where CGI. Where do the rockets go in space, when they blast them off? Have you floor? watched them they just, take off? They, they, they go and they land right in the, the water. Rising. Boom, they done. Away. They're done. They satellites, away. they just launch satellites I've and they land. So we don't have satellites? Multiple launches that have cameras until they get into space. So oh, I know that that's Money scam, right. tax scam. And then what? They go into space and then Tax they scam, each one's, they go with telecommunications bill, we got the satellite, you know, $45 billion. Congressman just goes, okay, just the they just launch right it. There's, there's no, there, you, if you think there's something from your phone going in space and then it's coming back down somewhere, they got you. There's, it's all land based communicate. Nothing's going into space and coming back. Well, and somebody just put They're it in diamonds, diamonds are worthless, which they are, but people, diamonds are worthless, but people assign a worth exactly. to diamonds. Exactly. Well, it is. Same well, thing well, with well, oil. Diamonds like, are not worthless, they are the hardest element on planet Earth, so there is some value. Yeah, but well, compared to, there's an artificial scarcity to diamonds. That's been okay. Well, that's true. Well, yeah, brought like into diamonds. the equation. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so the way the nighttime and daytime works on the flat Earth model All right. is. See that. Let me explain this. Let me explain. Like, 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 like if, like if, <laughs> let's say, I gotta explain the, the the law of perception. Your eyesight. Your law of perception. If you were an artist and you were gonna draw a uh, long street, a street, you were in the middle of the street, a long street. And at the side, like on the sidewalk, I feel like I'm in pulse. Inception right now. Yes. But okay. think about the light pulse, right? As you stood there, from your perception, each light pole, even though they're exactly the same height, they're going to appear to be a little bit lower, right. each one, right? And and then it's going to come in, the the, 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 the ground is going to come up to your eye level, the, the light poles are going to come down and in to your light eye level, and... If you were there, and also like if you were in a long hallway in some hotel and it went on for like a block, it would appear because of the law of perception that the walls were gonna come in, they come in to to your eye level and the ceiling comes down and the floor comes up. That's how you would draw it, because that's how it looks. Everything converges into your eye level, right? You understand that? That's not a conspiracy theory, right? No. So the sky is exactly like that too. So it looks like the sun is like setting or we're spinning away from it when it's really just so far away the more the further something travels the lower it gets like a mountain and you look at a mountain you can look across it's, it's like 50 miles away and it's so low it's not that high if you walked up to it it would be fucking 13,000 feet up but the further away something gets the lower it gets everything converges into your eyesight you know what I'm saying? So the sun in the flat Earth model, if we're this is the North Pole and you live right here, by the time the sun got over here, it looked like it's set, but it's just so far away. It's over here and it's gonna come up. Well, what the would sun. be, what would be blocking the, sun. the view? The sun always comes up. What like would that. be blocking the view though? The horizon. It's just so far away. What horizon? There is no horizon. No, there's it's no just, there's it's no just round just earth. At some point, it's so far away you can't see it. It's like looking it's at a like hotel. You, hotel, hotel no, I'd have to say no to that because the sun is too bright. That's what lights the moon. We wouldn't see the moon if it wasn't. The moon is its own light. It, the moon is not. It's a. It's a. According to flat Earth people, the moon is its <laughs> own sun. It's its own light. It's its own it's thing. Blue light. It's not reflecting the sun at all. It's, it's its own light. How does, it, how does it always change with a round curve? Only um, God knows. I don't know. So you, so you're religious, but you're also. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just making the that. arguments of the flat Earth. I just know the flat Earth. <laughs> just do this, do this, do this, do this. There's a guy. Listen, listen. There's a guy named Eric Dubé. Eric Dubé. He is the best guy explaining the flat Earth. There are he flat Earth. There are flat. Yeah. He's not. But that's what I'm guy. saying, though. Then you're He's either talking about the real. greatest psyop in the history of man. That's the best dude. That's okay. what you're talking Eric about. Eric Dubé, look at the his the history of flat Earth by Eric Dubé. Watch that so with open mind. Let me ask you. So let's say the Earth is flat. So let's say the Earth is flat. Is then telling people that the Earth is round the greatest psyop in the history of mankind, yes. or did somebody create the Earth this flat and we I'm, just don't know it? But then why would they know. do that? Like we why did they do know, it back man. in Columbus? So nobody time. knows this. They what? said the Magellan NASA, supposedly NASA went around the Earth. Oh, we yeah. know who knows what they know at the top. This is what happened. This is the history of the Earth. In the 1950s, Einstein was he would, he'd have debates with other physicists about. Is the Earth really even moving? Is it spinning at a thousand miles an hour? Like that? Where's the proof? There's zero proof that we're even moving. 
Now that was the debate. So in 1950, an astrophysicist by the name of August Picard, and this is not a conspiracy theory, he got in a balloon, went up 50,000 feet. He went the highest anybody ever went up to that point. 50,000 feet. His name was August Picard. He went 50,000 feet in a balloon. He had a partner. They went up in a little mini submarine. And when he got up there in the 50s, his one-liner, his, his quote was, the earth appears to be a flat plane with upturned edges. He comes down. Who knows what that means? He comes down. They Now no one can go into space. Space is owned by NASA. Nobody could go up there. The only the only government people could well, go up there. That's a typical government reaction, but you also got to think about relativity. I mean, if humans are the, like a speck of dust in the size of the room compared to the size of the Earth, so even if you get that high, because we're so small compared to the size of the Earth, it would still appear flat. No, 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 no. You, 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 that's a very good point. But if the Earth is twenty five thousand miles in circum in circumference, <laughs> then every um, I'm not a mathematician, but like. Uh, every mile, every mile is like eight it, feet squared, basically. Something yeah. like that. And even Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson, doesn't argue that if you're a ball with twenty in, with twenty five thousand miles in circumference, that every mile you dip down a couple inches. So, but anyways, but anyways, um, the main thing is, if we were on a ball, no matter how big it was, no matter how big it was, as you rise. The horizon would not rise to your eye level, no matter how big. If you're on a ball, if you're on a ball, as you rise, you're gonna look down at the horizon. But get on a plane, get on a plane, look out the window, and I bet you the horizon is right at the law of your perception, right there. At, no matter how high you rise, it's right there, and that's only true on a flat plane. And on a ball, it's impossible on a ball. On a ball, the more you rise, the more you look down on the horizon. No matter how big the ball could be, a zillion fucking uh, miles in circumference. It doesn't matter how big. As you rise, you would look down at the horizon, not up. The higher you get on a plane, you know, the horizon right there at your eye. It's your perception. Everything converges to your perception. It's crazy shit, dude. So you know what? This you know is. About this? How crazy do you think these waitresses think we are right now? Just you. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This, this is what I'm saying. This is what I've learned. This is my law. You want to know my law? My law is. My law is. Uh, a lot of cons like oh you believe in every conspiracy theory. There's all these conspiracy. You believe in there's not that many fucking conspiracy theories. There's a few. That would have to be the there's, biggest there, one ever. Dude. Yeah, that is the biggest yeah. one ever, man. That is the biggest one ever. But uh, there's people think there's all these conspiracy. Oh, this yeah, doesn't yeah. exist. That doesn't right. exist. Right. That oh, this is a lie. This yeah. doesn't even exist. My law, my per what I've learned yeah. is that if if. I, if I need to take someone else's word for it, some unknown scientist, some unknown government scientist, with some from some unknown government experiments, if I gotta take and I can't prove it for myself, I gotta investigate it. 